Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new fractal tone tutorial for you and this is how to dial in a continuum era style lead tone, uh, obviously John Mayer. Uh, we are gonna base everything off of the intro clip I did. This was the intro to Belief from the Webster Hall performance. I believe this was the very first continuum era performance that he did. Uh, particularly love the tone he got. Um, it just sounds big. It's not too uh, gained up, uh, but just huge sounding. So we're going to dial that in using FM9 Edit in just a second. Now, if you do not want to continue on with the tutorial, just like the last time, uh, just email me. Uh, email's in the description box below and just purchase the preset. I'll send it out to you. Uh, either way, you're supporting the channel and helping it to grow, and I really, really appreciate that. Today, we're going to use my Michael SX Custom. This has kind of been a go-to for the past few weeks uh, for John Mayer type of tones. We're going to stay on the neck pickup. This is a Lindy Fralin Vintage Hot. And just look at the back of that neck. Super flamey. I'll even uh, link all of Mike Lowell's. Uh, info in the description box below. They're amazing guitars, um, excellent playability and tone. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into FM9 Edit right now. Okay, here we go. This is the same signal chain that I use quite often for John Mayer type of stuff, but we have some differences from the last time that I did a John Mayer uh, fractal tone tutorial. So let's start with the core of it, the amps. Uh, we have the Two Stone J35. Nothing's really changed in this except I bumped up the bass and dialed the treble back a little bit. I uh, just feel like this performance in particular to capture the live sound just need a little bit more thump. So that is about it. Don't forget to pan it hard left and set the bypass to uh, mute so then you can adjust to taste without getting any dry signal coming through. And this is a change. This is the ODS 100 Ford, uh, the Dumble ODS, which th these two amps together really make that continuum era type of tone together. Um, not very far off from the stock settings, as you can tell and this one's panned hard right. Now you could substitute this for the ODS uh, 100 clean if you wanted to. Um, I just found that I liked the Ford a little bit better. Uh, it gave me a little bit more grit and uh, mids and a little bit more volume overall. Cab, these have been my go-tos recently. The 4x12 Rumble, Factory 2 uh, 924, Pan hard left, factory two, 133, this is a two by 12 two stone, 121. I think API uh, means the mic pre, I believe. Did some low cuts. Um, I'd probably dial this back a little bit. And then did some high cuts as well. Don't forget to add a little bit of room level. I found that once you get to about 30%, there's kind of a a high-end smoothness that happens. Um, you might like it, you might not, um, but just to let you know. Let's go to the drives. So the T808 OD, there's the settings for that. I believe I changed the diode clippings on that and adjust the bias up just a tad, just to kind of 
give it more of a TS10 type of flavor. Um, I do know that the TS10 is biased just a tiny bit differently than the TS808. And then stacking it with the Blues OD, which is a very Continuum Era appropriate pedal or drive pedal based on the Mark I Marshall Blues Breaker. And here are the settings for that. It's not a very gain heavy type of pedal, so that's why the gain is up quite a bit. Go into the delay, stereo tape. Uh, I like to set the mix relatively low. Um, all I'm trying to achieve right here is to be able to hear a nice trail off, um, not to stand out really heavy in the mix. Um, just kind of give it a little bit of a, a bed underneath the tone to uh, kind of add a little bit of effect. And this has changed a little bit. The reverb is in parallel. So don't forget to set the mix to 100% and then adjust the level to taste. This is the South Church set to ultra high quality. And I believe that is it. Let's go ahead and play a little bit. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, oh yeah, it was the, the drive at the beginning of the chain. So if you want a little bit more saturation, go ahead and uh, turn on like a, a FET boost set relatively low, um, just adds a little bit more saturation. But let's go ahead and play a little bit, everything together, neck pickup, tone knob dialed back to round eight. All right, so you probably uh, saw this guy turn it on and off just to kind of show you what it would do. So one more time. So you might hear it compressing a little bit, but definitely a lot more saturation. Um, but feel free to mess with this, make it your own. Uh, hope this was helpful for you and we'll have some more uh, fractal tone tutorials coming out later. Thank you for watching. Bye.